Yeah. Scanning, I've got a joke yeah. for you. What oh, was yeah. the elephant doing on the N25? Oh, I don't know. About 10 miles an hour. <laughs> Right, what's that, Polly? Now. Polly comes face to face with a, a minotaur, a horrible beast headed person with nasty big bites. This week, Polly finds herself in Merry England, where things are far from merry. Will Polly find the next gold ring before Sir Walter Pistol raises the roof? Stay tuned to Teabag and the Rings of Olympus. little pink-faced perisher. You tell me what you've done with Mr. Heffalump or your wish you'd never been stuffed. Come on, spit it out. So, the grand silence, is it? Well, doll face, you've asked for it. Where have you hidden Mr. Heffalump? Hey, hey, hey! I'm warning you, Clophead. I'll drag it out of you, so help me, I will. Now, tell me! Right! There we are, T-shirt. A young woman after my own heart. And she's got the next missing gold ring. Right, get your skates on. We're off. You never did, seriously. So then what happened? Get away. You're kidding me. <laughs> T-shirt! Just a minute, just a minute. Yeah? So what did you do with half a tonne of semolina? You what? <laughs> I bet that made his eyes water. <laughs> Who's that? It's granny bag. It's for you. Granny it! Oh, granny darling. How sweet of you to call. There. Now you know what happens to people who rub me up the wrong way, don't you, eh? You should have told me where Mr. Heffalump was while you had the chance. Hello? What? Who are you? Where did you spring from? Have you seen Mr. Heffalump? The next gold ring. Well, I'm waiting. Who's Mr. Heffalump? Are you stupid or something? Everyone knows who Mr. Heffalump is. My bestest, most favourite toy pink elephant in the whole world. Oh. Is that it? Over there behind the cushion? Mr. Heffalump! <gasps> oh, Heffy, sweetheart. You're a naughty, 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 naughty heffalump. I ought to smack you on the trunk for running away from mummy like that. <laughs> if you run up again, I'll rip your ears off. Got it? There's a nice little heavy weffy. What's your name? Polly. Polly. I like you for the moment. Come here. I'm going to give you a prezi for finding Mr. H. You can have anything you want. Except for my silver thumb screws, they're mine. Can I have your earring? Yes. Really? Oh, fantastic. That's the easiest one yet. But first... Oh, there's always a cat. First, I want you to take Mr. Heffalump up to his room and tuck him up in his little four-poster basket. You can read him a bedtime story, if you like. And don't forget his hottle wattle bottle, or I may just have to chop your head off. Well, go on, then. Go, go, go. What? Third on the left, second on the right, down the stairs, across the courtyard, through the arch, fifth door on the corridor, and don't take all day about it. Fine, right. Yes. Your Majesty. Oh, excuse me, it's way past Mr. Heffalump's bedtime. <coughs> Granny! I told you a million times already. You take hold of the fat end and you hit it with the stick. Bye. Come on, let's go. Your Majesty. Sir Water Pistol, welcome home. Thank you kindly. After all this time. Aye, my lady. Five long years at sea. I must confess, I had not expected to find your highness looking five years younger upon my return. I've travelled to the other ends of the earth and back, seen wondrous sights fit to make a man's eyeballs leap from their sockets in rapture and delight, but never seen a vision more lovely than that of your own fair face. Double helpings of yuck with a stonking great topping of blur. Pardon? 
Cut the sucky stuff, Pistol. Just make with the prezzies. Prezzies, Ma? Presents, you imbecile. What have you brought me back from your travels, eh? It had better be something good. Ah, yes, indeed. Now, I have brought you a little something all the way from America. America? America. Well, don't just stand there like an out-of-work village idiot. What is it? I want to see it. Let me see it. Are you taking the mick pistol or what? What is it? A potato, ma'am. A potato, ma'am? What's a potato, ma'am? Uh, not a potato, ma'am, ma'am. A potato, ma'am. That's what I said. Uh, no, ma'am, you said a potato, ma'am, ma'am. No, oh, shut up. Never mind what it's called. What does it do? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Typical of a man. You splash out on a new boat for him, then he goes swanning off around the world for five years, and what does he bring you back? A potato, ma'am, that doesn't do anything. Not so much as a stick of rock. Nothing. But the potato is a wonderful thing, Your Majesty. Look. Hmm. Reminds me of that girl who was just in here a minute ago, see? Two little eyes, funny little nose, oh. mouth. <laughs> What's it for? You eat it, Mark. Eat it. It is a rare delicacy. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Poison me? That's it, isn't it? You've never liked me. Pistol, you're fired. What? And what is more, I'm going to lock you up in the dungeons and teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Guards! God, dear. I'd hate to get on the wrong side of her. You're going to have to watch your step. You're going to have to watch your step because you're the one who's going to get the ring from her. What? How? Oh, flappy knot, lump it. Tears your brave. It's very clear that young Queenie Crackbot there loves getting presents. So presents are what you are going to give her. That'll teach him, her tater ma, my foot. <gasps> Evening all. What's oh, Bodkin? Who might you be? I might be King Zog of Albania, but I'm not. Sir Thomas Shirt, at your service, ma'am. Back hot food from a quick spin round the globe and laden with goodies to tickle your fancy. Oh, my, prezzies. I am me galleon was fair stacked to the gunnel with goodies. Oh, for little me? Aye. Good on you, Tom Shirt. That's the way to treat your queen. I'll see you right, Sir T. Whatever you want is yours. Uh, your earring is... Oh, isn't this exciting? It's just like Christmas and my birthday, all rolled up in one yummy bundle. Well, good, eh? What is it? Nikem stereo, teletext, remote control, the whole world. Yes, 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 but what does it do? Sit back and feast your eyes. It just better be good. Good. It's top of the range, this. I'll just plug it in. What year is this again? 1578. Oh. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing doesn't matter. What? Sorry, there's been a mistake. Forget you ever saw me. I'm out of here. Bye. How extraordinary. Oh, uh, this wouldn't be Mr. Heffalump's bedroom, would it? What? I'm lost. What are you doing there? What does it look like? I don't know. Why are you chained up like that? Chained up? You think that I'm... <laughs> um, I'm not chained up. No. You see, it was the silliest thing. See, I was just down here doing my morning exercise. me if I didn't get myself stuck like this. <laughs> what a ninny, eh? Uh, be a sweetie and let me loose, would you? The keys are over there. Oh, sure. Can't you do one single thing right? Taking a television set to the 16th century. Oh, you idiot! Why couldn't you take something sensible like a, well, a compact disc player? <gasps> Bolly Pee-wee Pants, what's she doing? A thousand thank yous. It's all right. Well, I'd better be off. It's way past Mr. Heffalump's bedtime.
That mad bat of a queen. You mark my words. Her days on the throne are numbered. <laughs> Excellent! Oh, I feel the 24 carat weaves coming on. I know how to get that poly creature out of our hair once and for all. You stay there. I will handle this. to kick the bucket. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Say no more. Say no more. Knock, knock. Who's there? Howard. Howard who? How would you like to be buried? Lying down or standing up? What are you blabbering about? Oh, you love this one. This is a cracker. They were burying this mad young queen, right? And all of a sudden, the coffin pulls off the back of the cart and rolls straight the way down the hill, along the lane, straight into the chemist shop. As it's passing through, the lid flies off. The corpse sits up and shouts out, oh, I've got something to stop this coffin. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you've got to laugh, haven't you? I don't like all this gloomy old talk about death and funerals and stuff. Ah, well, you won't have to put up with it much longer. Not where you're going. You mean somebody's plotting to murder me? Indubitably! Who is it? I'll have the guts for garters. Tell me, tell me. To kill the queen would be such folly. Beware the one whose name is... Polly! I'm back. You can't do this to me. Let me out of here. I haven't done anything. Haven't done anything? First you plot to kill me, and you just admitted you were the one who set free that rogue Sir Walter Pistol. But he said... And I'd like to know, what's all this in here, eh? They're mine. Give them back. So, you thought you'd just dip your sticky little fingers into my jewellery box while you were creeping around the palace, did you? Guilty, guilty, and guilty again. You can dangle there till you rot. Ah. <sighs> Sir so, so Walter. You've fallen foul of old Looney Tunes as well, have you? I haven't done anything. Neither did I. And as for him, he was the milkman. All he did was deliver the wrong yogurt. She's a wild woman. She's got to go. Will you join me? In what? In my plot to kill the Queen. You can't do that. You watch me. Are you going to help me, I or nay? Nay. Right, or fool you. What are you going to do? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I want him found, hung, drawn, quartered, and fed to the corgis. Now, what are we doing? Oh, keep up or take no shutting. Now that Polly creature's out of the way, we can get the earring off of young Queenie Fruitcake there. Yeah, but why are we down as torturers? To get the rest of the rings from Pee Wee, so we can combine business and pleasure for once. Come on. Good evening, all. <laughs> Who are you? Horsewhip and cudgel, torturers par excellence. Thumbscrews and pellywinks, our speciality. Oh, yes. We've come to offer you our services. Any little prisoners you want lashed? Thank you, but no. I do all the tortures here myself. Ah, yes, sir, but we got a special offer on at the moment. The prisoner of your choice gets ten quick flicks with a tickling stick, a pint of cold custard down the back of the neck, and a slap with a wet haddock. And all for the price of an earring. Very good. <laughs> Ooh, that does sound good value. All right. 
right you're hired. There's a wretched little girl chained up downstairs. Do your worst and the earring is yours. Mm. Fabby do. Now to business, Mr. Cudgel. One, two, three, four, five. What is going on? What's with the barrels of gunpowder? Three guesses, what's directly above our heads. How should I know? I'll give you a clue. It's a throne room, and it belongs to the Queen. The Queen's throne room? Give that girl a potato, ma'am. What? You mean you're going to block the Queen? She's had this coming to her for a long time. What about me? You had your chance, kiddo, and you blew it. You're a monster, you are. Silence! Majesty. No bag, tea bag. What? Where is it? it, it it's in the barrel. What barrel? Uh, I forget. I hid it in one of the barrels, but I forget which one. No, oh, T-shirt. Let's get all these barrels back to the tea room. We're bound to get the bag in one of them. Thank you, my dear. We'll be back later to conclude our little bit. <laughs> now we're cooking. Ten of those blasted rings we'll have before the day's done. Ooh. Did you leave the toaster on this morning? What? Don't just stand there. Good stretching. Oh, no. What? Oh, wow. I can't resist it. I just to come and watch the fun and games. Oh, phooey, pooey, where are the torturers? What's going on here? I've just saved your life, if you must know. Pull the other one, dearie. That Sir Walter, whatever his name is, was going to blow the whole place sky high. Oh, yes. Yes, he had all these barrels of gunpowder right over there. I don't see any barrels. I just tricked those so-called torturers into getting rid of them. I've never heard such a stonking load of old tosh. It's true. Well. I'm just going to have to torture you myself then, aren't I? What's happened? What have you done with my barrels of gunpowder? Your plan turned out to be a damp squib, hasn't it? Curses! Stuff for curses! Typhoons, turnips and whelks! Right! I'll just have to dream up some other way to kill the Queen, won't I? But you mark my word, she's a dead... Yours, my dear. And yours. Thanks. And as for you, Mr. Big Shot Pistol, you can dangle there for a couple of months and then... Then? Then, if you're a very good boy, you can jump in your boat, get back over to America and bring me back some decent prezzies, right? Right. Come along, my dear. Let's go and wake up Mr. Heatherlump and see if he wants to play Tiddlywinks. Cup of tea. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 Next week, Polly finds herself back in ancient Greece, where danger lurks behind every corner. Will Athena ever see the rings again? What fiendish plot has Teabag made up to thwart our heroes and steal the rings? Find out in next week's final episode of Teabag and the Rings of Olympus.
And tea bag will be back same time next week. Doing the things that I told you she was going to do this week, but <laughs> next week, amazing. Yeah, anyway, I better just take mistake. some time out here to say that Jan made a mistake. Yeah, well, you just made this mistake earlier. So oh, yeah, that's go. good. We've all made um, Ask Oddie, the environmental programme with Bill right. Oddie, which starts this week.